morning, guys. Good morning. So we're starting our day with coffee at Cafeteria Magazine. Yeah, we, we walked in, it just looked cool in here. We, we didn't know yeah. what to think of it. But it's cool, right now, we're on the second, or the first floor. In North, <laughs> in North America, it's the second floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're sitting on like a walkway right now. So uh, yeah, we, uh, we're picking up some coffee, and then later today, we're gonna go to the National Museum, was it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. National, National Museum is free on Sundays, and well, it's Sunday, so it's perfect. Yeah, and it's great things about it too. Yeah. Apparently it's supposed to be really neat, a lot of different exhibits. Yeah, I'm. This is the one I've been looking forward to the most in uh, Belgrade. Yeah, in fact, our, so our tour guide told us about it the first day, and we actually ran into him today. He looked really happy. We told him that we've tried some of his suggestions, and he looked really pleased about it. So yeah. that's cute. But uh, yeah, this cafe is like, it's got so many floors, and it's so cool in here. But uh, yeah, so I ordered a uh, a mocha, uh, ice mocha. Yeah, and I got a cappuccino. A so. extra large cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'll be ready to take on the day. <laughs> yeah, or take on the hour until it runs out. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, looking forward to it. All right, so it came, it looks great. So, for reference, these are the biggest caffe caffeinated beverages we've had here uh, in Europe so far. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the ice mocha is not messing around. It's huge, and it looks really? very chocolatey. And Ryland's cappuccino is four it's, times bigger than... It's so big. Yeah, yeah, I need this today. I'm so excited. So all the caffeine that we've been having in Europe so far, it, up until this very moment, is like little tiny cups. Like, right? Like yeah. little, little like shot glasses almost. You just kind of sip on it. These these are chuggers. <laughs> you know, you, 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 these are gallons. Yeah, I'm excited to try it. Hopefully it's good. I think this place is known for like artisan coffee, so I think it should okay. taste pretty nice. I think it's known for double XL coffee. Yeah, that's which is, <laughs> which is gonna keep me coming back. notes from uh, the end of Yugoslavia during the collapse where they hit a crazy level of hyperinflation where their currency the dinar started inflating to a point where 50 billion Yugoslavian dinar was worth the equivalent of 12 and a half German marks at the time in 1992 to 2002 a week after the 50 billion dollar note was released they had to release a 500 billion dinar note afterwards because the inflation multiplied by 10 over that such a short period of time. Like, check it out right here. completed yeah that was that was really fun it was super interesting a lot of uh, like medieval stuff which we love 
and a lot of art from like all different kinds of time periods. Yeah. So uh, we're really impressed. The bottom floor was a lot of jewelry, pottery, uh, ancient stuff like, you know, helmets and yeah. like bronze and copper era stuff. And then once you go up the floors, it's mostly paintings from the Renaissance, you know, acrylic and oil paintings. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It started from, I think, 500,000 BC. So there was like, like you know, stone tools and everything, which yeah. was really cool to see. It was, it was kind of funny because like, you know, technology was pretty simple back then. Yeah. So it's just like a spherical looking rock. <laughs> and they're like, this was essential for military purposes. <laughs> it's like, it's a rock. But it was, it was really neat though. Um, but yeah, so that was really the only thing we had planned for today. I think we're probably just going to walk around and explore a little bit. Have a yeah. little relaxing day. Nothing <laughs> else planned. Let's just see what comes to us, you know. We think we might stop by another cafe because we're loving the coffee. Uh, we might go to a restaurant here. Yeah, we've got a out. whole list of like recommended restaurants. Thank you to everyone who commented uh, recommendations. Yeah, we um, really appreciate all the suggestions in the comments. We've been writing them all down as we see them and yeah. uh, saving them in the list to be like, oh, like, should we do this today? Should we do that today? So Yeah, so we might check out some of those, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a yeah, great idea. The, the bakery hall from yesterday ended up feeding us all the way to like breakfast this morning or brunch yeah. this morning. Yeah. So we've still been living off of that like $20 bakery order. So I'd say well worth it. Money well and, spent. And we, I don't know if we said this in the video, but it was definitely the best work we've ever had like since coming to the Balkans. Yeah, so, yeah, the meat barracks specifically from that bakery yesterday. Yeah. That was, was just so like, good. we took a bite and we're like, wow. Yeah. Wow. And we had the you know. cherry one today and it was delicious. Like, like a crispy, flaky cherry pie. It was so good. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's just walk around. The sun's starting to set. It's a great time of day. For reference, the weather today, it's the warmest it's been mm -hmm. and sunny and windy and it's just, and it's not too humid. It's just like yeah. so comfortable. It's about like 20 degrees Celsius. So. We're loving it. Beautiful. Yeah. Great outdoor weather. You yeah. Know? <laughs> okay. So I'm getting these because of the fond memories I have with my best friend, Kevin. Hope you're watching this in the Netherlands. These puffy little pancakes are uh, translated to pofeltjes. I butchered the, the translation probably, but uh, that's, we, we got it before. Um, and so I'm gonna go get it again and I'm gonna show you guys what, uh, like, what I remember so fondly getting. Got it, check it out. So, you see these little pancakes? These are pofeltjes. Or, I mean, they call it something else, something different here, but um, I remember That's getting cool. these at a carnival with Kevin in the Netherlands uh, whenever yeah. I visited eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. So, I got them covered in chocolate, so. Oh. <laughs> it just tastes like Nutella. <laughs> they put so much Nutella in it. <laughs> Do you want to try one? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we've been walking around and we got another treat. So we got this to share. This is gelato, but the flavor is plasma. So plasma seems to be Serbia's big like national cookie. Um, it's kind of like an oblong cracker cookie type of thing. We actually had it on a plane, if you guys remember from our travel day video. Um, but this is quickly becoming our favorite flavor of ice cream. It's so good. I think the, the gelato is even better than the actual crackers. So, cheers. All right, so just across the street from us is a place called Pizzeria Klee Klee. <laughs> um, and Rylan found a uh, link to it online. Uh, and apparently students love to go here because of a good price and good food. So let's check it out. Okay, so this is the Klee Klee Pizza, which has tomato, 
tomato, cheese, ham, mushrooms, eggs, pepperoni, sausage, pickled peppers, and oregano. So let's see if we can finish this. And how much did it cost? So this, uh, all right, 920 serving dinar and 12 Canadian dollars yeah. for this bad boy, which just <laughs> smells amazing. I can't wait. It's got like every topping they offer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Let's try it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get a piece with an egg. I love egg. Let's try it. Oh, good cheese. That's some good cheese right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It is good. Mm. What would you give it out of 10? Like a nine at least. Nine? Heck yeah. It's really good crust. I love the orange yolks of the egg. Yeah. Oh. So good. Can't it looks wait. It's kind of messy right now, but very delicious. How do you feel? So we finished our pizza and now we're on our way to Skadarlia, which is a neighborhood that we passed by on our tour, but we wanted to go back and get to know it a little bit more. Also, a friend from school told me to go there at night because apparently it's really pretty. So the sun's about to set and let's go see. poet in Belgrade uh, who lived in this house I think in the 18th or 19th century I can't remember exactly I also can't remember his name so this, I'm already off to a great start but, uh, <laughs> but yeah he was an influential poet but he was also an alcoholic and for reference the street that we're on right now um, in the, throughout history it was known as a street of drinking and partying but it was also a very popular cultural street for artists, musicians, poets, everything of the sort. And so anyways, our boy here was an alcoholic and, uh, and, he, and he thought to himself he had an epiphany uh, that is a well-known story around here. Uh, his epiphany was, hey, I have strong willpower. I can control myself. I'm not an alcoholic and I'll prove it to everyone. I'm gonna stop drinking and I, like cold turkey, you know? And so he stops for 24 hours and uh, at the end of the 24 hours, he says to himself, I did it, you know, I knew I was capable of it. And to celebrate my great accomplishment, I think I'll have a drink. <laughs> Goodbye, but we're home now and we're very full and it was a good day yeah it was nice and slow yeah today I really like today because there was no schedule or itinerary we just like hey what do you feel like doing well yeah. that, that looks nice let's go here oh what's this look like let's check it out like that I, I really like that because you know you're not stressed about me meeting you know oh we're gonna be late we don't have to worry about any of that so yeah I think we really both needed that after yesterday because yesterday was so Hectic. chaotic and trying to find like trying to find the tickets and sit, see when we have to go where we have yeah. to go and all the logistics of yeah. orienting yourself in a town you're not familiar with is 
so mentally exhausting. Yeah. So it's nice to just have something that we don't have to do that. So um, yeah, that's it for today. Tomorrow we plan to try and get a vet appointment for Gizmo. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a little bit nervous about it just because um, we've been having trouble finding people that speak English. Sorry, Gizmo is standing on top of the thing on two feet. What are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little nervous about the language barrier, but hopefully it'll be fine and um, the vet will know what we're talking about when we ask for the animal health certificate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.